Hello, and welcome to the Home Office Management Expert Podcasts. I'm Helene Liatzos, the home-based business expert. I have done a series of podcasts to help you, the listener, start your own home-based business. I hope you like them and that you find them very useful. Next thing to consider is that your business name should create an image. A recent survey indicated that over 65% of startup businesses are not clear about what business image they want to project. They know what they want to do. They throw their name in front of the service or the product they provide. They buy an ad in the local paper and sit back to wait for the phone to ring. This is not how to get customers to come to you. Customers need to be enticed. They need to be curious. They need to be convinced that you are what they want. So you've got some work to do ahead of you. I want you to think about these questions. What does your company stand for? How do you want to be remembered? Are you the best in the business? Are you the most innovative? Are you the most unique? Are you dependable, reliable, and on time? If so, then perhaps those words should be in your name. What do you want people to think of you when they hear your business name? Most people see an image when they read or hear words. I know of a travel agency called Mass Travel, M-A-S-S, Mass Travel. Well, the first thing that popped into my mind when I first saw this name was, why do I want to travel in a mass? Visions of crowded planes and trains came to mind, and it was a total turnoff. I would much rather travel as a VIP individual traveler, wouldn't you? And that would be a much better name. Here's another example of a business name that confused me totally, even though it's not a home-based business. Every so often, I like to stay off the freeways and simply drive down the boulevards and avenues in my town It gives me a chance to see what is going on and what stores have closed and what new shops have opened. Well, I spotted a new cafe, but the name was a bit puzzling. It was called Le Petit Israeli Asian Cafe. I'm not sure as to exactly what type of food they are serving, and quite frankly, I didn't want to take the chance it would be an unappetizing experience. It did not make me curious in a good way to even attempt to go in there. Use words in your business name that paint a picture for your customers. If your all-time favorite band is Muddy Waters, don't name your pool company after that. It is better to use words such as Aqua Blue and Clear Views. Two companies that immediately create a specific image sell ice cream. Haagen-Dazs, which sounds foreign and rich, and Ben & Jerry's, which sounds down-home and familiar. They both sell premium ice cream with their own personal style. Probably the best examples I can give of creating a business name with an image is in the world of Hollywood. Do you know who Julia Jean Mildred Francis Turner is? What if I told you that that name was rechristened Lana? Lana Turner's real name. If she kept her real name she would not have made it in Hollywood of yesteryear. The studios created a name for the stars that would attract the moviegoers into the theaters. Show business is a business. The goal is to sell tickets. Today's trend is a little different. Actors use their real name because it is cool to do so. Hollywood adapts in order to survive. Lots of people like to use their name or their street or town where they live in as a business name, and this could work for you and it could work against you. The industry you select should be a source for what is being used and what is considered to be right on target with their customers. Crafts and one-of-a-kind products come immediately to mind about businesses that convey specialized handcrafted goods um, and have a homespun feeling, such as Betty's Baskets or Auntie M's Closets and Treasures. If you are competing for your share of the computer marketplace, though, and have a name like Bob's Computers, it might not be considered when other businesses are looking for a computer company to build a server or a host website. You might want to pick a name that conveys that you are bigger and more qualified entity. 
This is also true if you are reaching out into the global arena and want to compete on that level. Using a name where your business is located, such as Acorn Avenue Computers, may not be as professional sounding as international computers and websites. You should pick a name that defines a broader spectrum of what your capabilities are to the consumer worldwide. Another thing to consider is to pick a name that is easy to remember and easy to pronounce. If your last name is Wazalewski, I'm sure it is a fine and honorable family name. But it's probably best to pick a name like ABC Typing Service. You do not want to confuse your customers or make it difficult for them to call you. If they're self-conscious about pronouncing your name, they will never call. And above all, keep the name short. Not only will people remember it, you will be able to use it in all kinds of promotions and advertising. It would be a total waste if your business name has to be condensed in order to fit specifications for websites and the like. That's our podcast for today. If you want to get all the steps to starting your own home-based business, go to www.thehome-office.com. I offer an online course, a digital DVD, and an ebook, all on the subject of how to start and operate your own home-based business. I'm sure that one of those will be right just for you. Once again, please visit www.thehome-office.com. And remember, my motto is, love what you do and the lifestyle will follow.